Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this month's Litify's Optimization and Best Practice Series. Uh, my name is Ryan Medina, and uh, this session we are going to be covering Records Express with Release Point. Uh, we have a great group of folks joining us today to walk you through a really amazing product we think you all are going to love. We're going to begin in one minute uh, and allow some of the late stragglers to join. We'll begin in one minute, just to let you know. Um, everyone get settled, and we'll chat with you soon. All right, everyone, let's begin. Again, for those of you who just arrived, thanks so much for joining us for this month's optimization and best practice series. You are joining us today to talk about Records Express with Release Point, a really exciting tool that we think you all are going to benefit from. Uh, before we begin, uh, we really encourage um, all of you to join in on the conversation. You'll see in your uh, chat box a way for you to uh, interact with us. If you have any questions during any part of the webinar, Type your questions in the chat box. We'll make sure to get those answered. And then we also have some time at the end. We'll, if you have any lingering questions or thoughts that you might have to share, uh, we can get to those at the end. My name is Ryan Medina, and I work on the training and enablement team here at Litify. Today, we are joined by David Rose, uh, co-founder and president of Brio Solutions. And we're also joined by Paul Carrier, business, uh, director of business development over at Release Point. And lastly, we have Monica DiDonato on the line as well. She is the Director of Operations at Pondley Hockey Stern Dorjano, one of our uh, firms that works with Litify and also Release Point, who has some really exciting things to share about the way that they've changed the way they handle their medical records. Uh, we are recording the session, so if you have any questions or if you'd like to see any of what is covered again later on, we'll send out a recording as soon as we are wrapped up here today. And one last announcement, uh, we had two sessions scheduled for this. So if you are registered for tomorrow's session, or if any of your peers are registered for tomorrow's session, that will be rescheduled for a later date. Uh, so keep an eye out for that email invitation coming out soon. Today, we're gonna to be covering a handful of things. Uh, Paul Carrier is going to give us an introduction into Records Express. Then we're gonna be joined by Donna, Monica DiDonato, who's going to give us some really great insights in how her team has revolutionized uh, their records uh, retrieval process. Some really great things coming out of there. And um, David Rose of Brio Solutions will give us a demonstration and talk about the integration process and what that might require on your end or what you'll need to do in order to make that happen. And then lastly, we'll end with um, some next steps and a q and if you have any lingering questions. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, David, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Are you there? Uh, excuse me, I mean, Paul, are you there, Paul? Oh, yes, I certainly am. Good morning, Sorry, all. I said, David, it, it, I meant Paul. <laughs> it's, uh, it's early, I need my coffee still. Apologize there about that. Go. Uh, good morning, I'm Paul. also well, here, though, so much. in case you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> yes, David, there you go. Thank you. Um, good morning, Paul. Thank you so much for joining. As I mentioned, Paul is uh, Director of Business Development over at uh, Release Point. And Paul, would you uh, give us an introduction into Release Point and also Records Express, the tool that we are focusing on here this morning? Sure, absolutely. Thank you, Ryan. And good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us this morning. So Release Point, I'll give you a, just a, an overview of Release Point itself. Uh, Release Point is a uh, privately held firm. Uh, it is about 48 years old, based out of California. 
Uh, we work heavily in the insurance uh, space uh, and very heavily, needless to say, in the injury law space. So social security, disability, uh, uh, PI, uh, workers' comp, uh, tort, malpractice, premise liability. We're in all those different spaces when it comes to retrieval of medical records. Um, so it's a, it's, it's a great thing for us, and we really enjoy working with that team. Um, Release Point uh, is a national firm, so we are able to acquire records uh, both in Canada, uh, the U.S of course, Canada, Puerto Rico, um, and through the Record Express uh, tab within Litify, uh, you can manage your medical record retrieval process quite easily. Uh, so you can search for medical record providers. We have a database that you can access that has about 1.5 million contacts in that database between facilities and providers, uh, where you can go ahead and, and match up the uh, the providers uh, at that point once it's matched you upload your documentation whether it's a HIPAA authorization it's a high tech form any other type of request forms that you may need um, and then um, you would go ahead and, and place the order and then release point picks it up from there so we would contact the provider uh, verify we're in the right location um, if there's any prepayment uh, needed for the records we would take care of that on your behalf um, then we follow up with the providers on a regular basis to ensure that we obtain those records uh, as quickly as possible of course uh, we manage those records and the intake of the records so no matter if they're sending it to us on a cd sending it to us on a thumb drive sending it to us as a paper a record potentially um, no matter the source in which we receive it it's always delivered to you as a as a PDF so you always have an electronic means to manage your your medical record itself um, and then it is brought to you back uh, through uh, through the Litify platform so it's a it's a very uh, seamless uh, way to manage records as part of your case um, and overall it's a it's a it's really a great great solution amazing yeah I have um been able to see release point in action um, with a few of our customers and I will say it's a really really beautiful way to retrieve those documents for the end users you know my role is to work with our end users and help enable them um, from case managers to paralegals to assistants anyone working on those uh, tasks with retrieving those medical records it looks really beautiful um, so I know that it's a really great way to retrieve and store those medical records are there any other benefits that customers might be interested in um, that makes um, records express stand out um, in terms of like reporting or analytics, that sort of idea? Well, in terms of reporting, there are capabilities of reporting uh, within uh, the release point platform or within Litify. Uh, additionally, uh, you know, for firms that have any type of uh, substantial volume uh, you really need to probably some deep reporting capabilities and here at release point although we're large uh, we certainly have the capabilities of, of managing uh, monthly reports for you so we can provide reports that talks about average cycle time uh, that shows average page count uh, that shows uh, average let's say provider fees so you can really help to manage the spend cycle time and your internal team when it comes to the medical records and how quickly they're coming in uh, and what the cost is overall for those records so we can help to to manage the cost and the and the cycle times for the team amazing very very cool uh, well Paul thank you so much for that introduction um, I think what we are um, going to be able to bring to the customers using release point is really um, a game changer in the way that they're handling their medical records and um, to speak to that even further um, I'd like to invite Monica DiDonato um, onto the line. Monica is Director of Operations at uh, Pond, Lehockey, Stern, Dor uh, Giordano, and they are um, really have been finding some major successes in using uh, release point uh, with their firms in, in terms of operations, um, scalability, and handling all of these documents. Uh, Monica, are you there? Uh, yes, I'm here. Good morning, Monica. Thank you so much for joining. Um, so I'd like to start with first um, maybe talking about some gaps or areas of possible um, improvement or opportunity before you started working with uh, Release Point and Records Express. Um, what was sort of the issues your firm was hand, uh, experiencing rather in terms of managing these many, many medical, medical records you were trying to obtain and, and manage? Sure. So um, one of the biggest issues um, that we had uh, was just unfamiliarity with doctor's offices. Uh, we, so we practice nationwide. So we're getting records for clients in all 50 states. Um, so we don't, we, we never really built any sort of relationships with some doctors. Um, some doctors needed authorization, some doctors didn't. Um, so we were having trouble with, you know, just kind of keeping everything organized and kind of knowing the flow of how to request the records. Um, 
also when we were doing it ourselves, it was non-digital. So, you know, we were sending paper copies of requests out. We were getting paper copies of medical records back. Um, you know, if you're off for, if, if you're a staff member off for a day or two, you might have, you know, stacks and stacks and stacks of medical records on your desk. Um, it's everything being non-digital, it's just a lot of paper, a lot of things that could go missing. Um, in addition to, um, you know, the non-digital, just staffing in general, um, having to have staff to request for medical records, to follow up on our medical records, to receive and collate, to quality control our medical records. Um, that is maybe an offsetting issue because uh, then you have to have somebody to manage them. You need to make sure that they're taken care of, that they have a seat. Um, you know, the cost that goes into having a person trained, uh, it's, um, you know, quite a laborious job and it's very, um, it's very repetitive. So the turnover rate for those, those staff members was, um, you know, seemingly high. Um, all of those things, you know, those were some of the issues, some of the issues and the, the problems that we had prior. Okay. Yeah, definitely handling these types of, this type of volume of work and all of the loose ends everywhere can make it quite difficult. So um, as of now, you've been using uh, Records Express. Um, how long have you been using this tool? Sure, so uh, we went live with Records Express um, in November, so it's been about okay. nine months. And tell us about your experience since then, kind of what's been, what's changed for you and how how is your record uh, retrieval process now? What, what's it look like for you today? Sure. So the the bit that we're most excited about is um, the digital process and integration with Litify. Um, so we we like to think of Litify as a one stop shop where you never have to leave the platform. And with Records Express and its integration, uh, you don't have to do anything outside of it. You can request all of your records within Litify. Um, if there is uh, you know a status that is roadblocked or suspended for medical records, meaning that the uh, the individuals who are getting the records from release point for some reason can't. They send us a message and we can communicate directly with them through Litify. Um, those guys at, at release point, the, the ones who retrieve the records, they're more familiar with the doctor's offices because they have a database of doctors with notes. So they know, um, you know, if this doctor needs a special authorization, they can provide it for us or for a fee, they can get it from the client themselves and send it out. Um, you know, they they uh, they really perfected the art of getting medical records. Um, everything is, like I said, it's just in Litify, it's digital. They have built the relationship um, and there's no issues with authorizations or gap times. Um, a real benefit that we've seen, um, and this has really helped us in terms of preparing cases for court, um, is the cycle times of, of records. So we'll request a record and then, um, you know, within a certain amount of days, we can expect it back. So Release Point provides us uh, all of the data for that. They, they let us know what our average cycle time is. They'll let us know when we request a record, what the average cycle time from that doctor is. So we'll know, you know, along the lines of whether we've prepped it too early or prepped it too late or whether we're right on time. And that's really helped us um, take a look at the, the metrics of cycle times and the metrics of what their averages are and make sure that we're requesting records at the most appropriate time. So, you know, we're not going to court and we've had the records sitting in the file for two months and might need them updated. And alternatively, we're not going to court and we're bringing it right to the line where we get the records two or three days before there's a comfortable cushion and everything is up to date. Amazing. Um, I know one of the really great benefits of working with Litify is um, the reporting and dashboards. And you've had some uh, successes in um, sort of viewing where we are with medical records operations. Um, and I know that you have a dashboard that you um, were putting, that you put together. Um, did you want to share your dashboard um, so we can kind of see um, what that looks like for you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Great. Let me pass a uh, presenter over to you and then we'll give you, we'll allow you to share, uh, to let you see what that looks like. So right, here I have, yes. Thank you. All right. So here I have, here I have a, a dashboard that we use um, on a regular basis to make sure that um, you know everything is coming in and going out with the release point effectively and correctly. Um, so here uh, we have um, this very first dashboard. It has our records that have been completed for release point or from release point that we need to submit. 
I love Texas for this dashboard is specific to Social Security. So this dashboard tells our manager um, we've received these records and the hearing date is between the dates here and this is how many records we need to submit. So this kind of gives us an idea from a workflow standpoint of um, you know what we need to push through, uh, what's been sitting, what may need some extra hands, what's a little bit more urgent. Um, it's really for the manager of our, our paralegal team to, to keep an eye on what's coming in, what's flowing, how many things we have sitting, and what we need to submit. Now, the second, uh, the second chart, the one that I have here, status of request by request month. Um, this just simply gives us an overall view of what we've requested and what the status is. Um, typically, we do see records returned within about 90 days. So we can then see, okay, 90 days back three months ago, um, how many records are complete, how many are still in progress, what's happening to the records, where they're sitting at, um, and we can see it a month-over-month -month view. So this really helps us operationally to see, um, you know, what's outstanding, where we're at in the months that we're in, how many records we've requested, how many are completed, and what's going on. Now Amazing. in the third column over here. In this third column over here, uh, we have um, what's called quality control. And that's something that uh, Release Point does at the very end of the process. So they will make sure that the records are collated. They'll give them a cover page and index them. So for us, that's important to look at because then we can see for the staff how many records are in the pipeline coming to them soon. Um, so we'll be able to see a total of records and we'll be able to see which staff member requested them. So we'll know which staff member can be expecting to get some records within the next day or so. Uh, the last chart. Um, is suspended records. So anyone who re requests records knows that sometimes doctor's offices are difficult. Sometimes we can't get the records for one reason or another. Um, so this chart shows us how many records we have suspended and on what team they're sitting on. So this helps us give a, a gauge of, you know, what, what's sitting, what may need to be touched and by who. So, so our manager can take a look at all of the staff members and they can say, okay, I need to focus someone here on these suspended records, or okay, I need to focus someone somewhere else um, and have them help these individuals so they can get these records from suspended to move, either moving and processed or canceled and re-requested. Re Amazing, yeah, so this is really great because we have those really beautiful dashboards built out on your homepage that maybe your manager see, but this dives into a little bit deeper into somewhere quite specific. Um, right. Really, really yeah, great. Exactly. Is there any anything else you'd like to share with us about um, your successes? Anything else that you might find interesting uh, or users might find interesting? Sure. I mean, uh, I think that the, the relationship that we've built with Release Point, um, it's really been great. The records express, if you ask, um, you know, any of our uh, Woodify Matters users um, what their favorite part of Woodify is, I think that they would probably say it's records express. Um, it just, it makes the job so much easier if you think about it. From a, a paralegal standpoint, or even from you know a secretary of staff standpoint, um, you know nobody wants to spend their time you know collating pages. Nobody wants to spend their time printing out medical record requests and putting them in the mail and calling doctor's offices. So the real key component of of Records Express for us was getting our staff to spend their time meaningfully, spending their time um, you know stuffing envelopes and calling doctors. And, and we felt that, or we found that when you give these staff members more meaningful work. Um, when they feel like they're doing something that actually is helping the client and accomplishing a greater goal, um, the output of their energy and efficiency is so much higher um, than when we were including these tasks with them. So I think that overall, an added benefit outside of Winify. Um, Monica, did we lose you? Did, did you did you hear all that? Uh, I think we lost it. Yeah. that very last part, the the final last added benefit. But I think um, I think we um, I I totally get what you're saying and what you're mentioning there. Sort of like giving those end users um, that meaningful work makes a big impact in the way that they perceive their role and the way that they perceive their efforts in the company. Um, as a trainer, that's one area I really try to hit on the sort of what's in it for me, and this makes a big difference. Um, so couldn't agree with you more there. Perfect. Perfect. Amazing. Um, so now I want to bring on uh, David Rose, who is uh, with Brio Solutions, co-founder um, over at Brio Solutions. And I want him to show, um, give us a bit of a demo and talk a bit about what's sort of required 
uh, for uh, working with um, uh, Release Point and Records Express. Uh, as I mentioned, David Brio is co-founder and president over at Brio Solutions, and his team um, is going to be the one that is going to work with our uh, with our customers and our partners in the implementation of this tool. Uh, David, are you there? I am. Can you hear me? Good morning, David. Yep, I sure can. Uh, thanks so much for joining this morning. Um, one of the things that I think would be really great um, at this point is if we were uh, able to see a quick demo of what it looks like to work with um, Release Point or Records Express and retrieving one of those documents. Sure. I'm going to pass over uh, the screen share to you. Excellent. Yep. All right. Great. So just to give you guys a quick intro, um, as Ryan indicated, my name is David Rose. Um, Brio is a, a technology company that uh, services a number of different industries, and, and actually we've um, we, we've we've leveraged some of the legal expertise that we've gained over time and spun off a company called Legal Ops. And Legal Ops is a company that actually makes uh, or builds this integration between Litify and, and uh, Release Point. So, as Monica mentioned, one of the things that sort of been um, a key part of the success we've seen companies have in, in Litify is to keep people in Litify. So the goal for us is to enable the, our, you know, enable the client to do all of their work within the Litify window. And so that's, that's what, that's the, the sort of the approach we've taken. And so you'll notice that on this Litify screen, which should look familiar to, to most of you, um, there's an additional tab here called medical. And this medical tab is the interaction between release point and Litify. Um, and so if you are interested in, in ordering records for a particular matter, uh, you just click into the medical tab. And once you're in the medical tab, you see a series of buttons on the top that lets you interact with the release point in various ways, as well as a listing of all of the orders for medical records that you have for that matter. Um, before we get into the detail, I'll just mention that, um, again, our, our, the idea was that everything was everything should be tightly integrated with Litify and uh, and the user should really not have to leave the screen. So we, where possible, we've leveraged all of the Litify objects in, in, in on the platform, meaning that you'll have a minimal amount of data migration. Um, you'll also have the ability not only to leverage reports that we might suggest, but you can write any of your own reports, any of your own automations, because all of the um, all of the data is stored the same way all the other Litify data is stored, and you guys have, you know, you all have the access to, to modify it and change it so that it fits your firm. Um, but out of the box, this is what the, uh, the medical tab would look like. You have a few different uh, things that you might do in this tab. Monica mentioned that one of the things that they, that Pond um, benefits from is the release point database of providers. So the first thing that you might do is might, you, you might search the release point database for a provider. Right now we're tied into the development database for release points, so you'll see a limited record set come back when we search here, but I can put in any two pieces of information and search for um, any provider that, that meets this criteria. So here are the roses that are in Pennsylvania, and I can select any one of these to add them to my Litify instance. Um, you'll also notice that there's a release point account number here, tying this provider to a record on the release point side, and the benefit of this is that, you know, as this, as this provider's information changes on the release point side, um, release point will know about it. So if you go order information, you know, order records from this uh, cancer center in a year from now and their phone number or fax number has changed, release point knows about this and you don't have to, um, you don't have to keep current records for all, for, you know, for all these various providers. Um, so if in fact you did want to, want to add a provider here and, I, I think I have all these providers added, so I'll actually do a different search. I'll do Smith. So if this, in fact, is the is a provider that you might be interested in ordering records for, for this matter, you can click Select. And the integration between Release Point and Litify is going to add two things here. It's going to add a party record for Warren Smith Health Center. And you'll see that this is the address information. We've got the Release Point account number, phone, and fax. And then Separately, it will allow you to add a role on this case. So for your particular matter, if this is a healthcare facility, um, let's say it's a hospital or whatever, and if you're using record types for your, uh, 
for your roles. You can select the record type and you can add this to the matter. So again, in the background, this has now added that role to the roles tab. So you'll see the uh, Warren Smith Health Center there. And then now that that role has been added to the case or to the matter, you're, you're able to order records for that from that provider. So the next button here is the order me medical records button. Carrier and source code are ways that release point can identify you and or the division within your firm that's ordering the records. Um, and you might enter some additional information like claim number or hearing date. Um, you can indicate whether a release point should rush this order or not. And if you wanted to, let's say your firm had a, uh, a, a close relationship with a particular doctor's office, which, which is the case um, in a number of scenarios, and you don't want to track that, you don't want to order that particular record through release point, you're also able to indicate that this is a manual order. In other words, this will not go through release point. Um, so, you know, again, we wanted to, you to be able to track everything in one place. So this lets you consolidate all of your medical records, even if you're not sending this particular record through release point, and it allows you to, you know, mix, mix them in with all of the records that are coming through release point. Um, so once you've entered this general information for this order, you can then add one or more providers to, to the order. So, um, so let's say we wanted to get it from, get order records from Warren Smith Health Center. We can add Warren Smith Health Center and we can also add additional, uh, facilities. So you might, you might want to order two records at a time. On the back end, this is going to create two release point orders for you, but this streamlines the process of actually creating these orders. So you can enter a start date and let's say, uh, let's say that you wanted to uh, order records from the 24th of 2018. If you don't put an end date in, we'll order records to the current date. And then you can enter any special instructions. So you might want to enter that you want bills and med records as well. Let's say bills only. And you can then submit the order. Once you submit that order, you'll see that the order is in the pre-process state. That means that the release point system is uh, or we're waiting to send that order over to the release point system. And you'll notice that that quickly moves to in process. So in the back end, Litify and, and, and the integration is waiting to send this information to release point. Release point has now said they've got the information, they've got the order, and now the order is in process. And as release point processes that order, you'll see that these statuses change. It might, it might change to, uh, uh, to complete, it might change to um, suspended if release point needs more information from you. Um, it might change to uh, canceled if, if release point is canceling the order for any reason. Um, and so you can track these various statuses here and see to what level your, your records have, have been ordered or where in the process they are. Um, in addition to seeing the status, you also have access to the notes that release point is um, is adding to this to this order. So you'll notice that in this in this detail, you can see that the release point customer service team is adding information. Uh, again, this is coming into a, a Salesforce slash Litify object. So you can create notifications off of these notes. Um, you can report off of these notes. You can see, you know, show me all orders that have a new note within the last seven days, for instance. Um, so you can, you know, you, again, you, you have the flexibility to treat these notes any way you want. Um, and, uh, and, and then you can, you can react based on those notes. So if the note, for instance, was that the order was suspended because the name is wrong, um, you might want to reply to release point within this window. So you can also contact customer service. Um, so you can say, okay, there's no need to contact me here. Uh, let's say I want to uh, respond to a suspension notice and uh, client indicated alias, you know, David Ross. And so now this information will be sent back to release point customer service and they can go take action based on that information. Um, and then finally, the end of the process, the records are ready for you to, to view. Release point has fulfilled the request. Um, so if you are on any other storage provider other than Spring, you can click into this request here and click on the download medical document um, button, which will take you to a, uh,
the release point uh, RPNet portal where you can log in and then download that document. We're constantly working with release point to streamline that process and um, our, we have a feature in, in the works that will allow you to just click on this link and download it directly and your authentication will go through Salesforce. But prior to that being the case, you can click on this link, it'll take you to the RPNet portal. If you are using Spring CM as your storage provider, this integration also uh, plugs into Spring CM. So if, if Spring is your storage provider, this file will be automatically downloaded into your Spring Matter folder under a medical records uh, subfolder. And so that uh, that's basically the the entirety of the uh, of the integration. Oh, I'm Amazing. sorry, I missed one thing. I missed one mm -hmm. thing. Finally, you're able to upload authorization forms. So you can upload an authorization form like a HIPAA authorization. You can upload to multiple requests at a time. You can tie that form to multiple requests, and you quickly simply click the upload button. You select the, the orders that you want to tie to, and then you can click the upload file, pick a file from your computer, and click submit. And that will send the file to release point. Now, now we're done. <laughs> cool. Very cool. Yeah, as I mentioned, I will say the process of keeping our users in Litify uh, without having to go to a bunch of different portals is a really huge benefit. Um, the process for ordering these, as you just demonstrated, is really simple, I will say. David, when I've been in classes um, working with um, firms on ordering medical records when they've decided or when they've opted into using records across or in release point, um, it's just so simple, it's so easy. Having everything contained all in one space is really, really, uh, really beautiful. Um, are there any um, uh, integration uh, resources or any heavy lifting on the customer's end um, in order to get this built in? And then also, um, how about the cost for the customers? Will they? Um, how much will this cost for them to integrate this tool into Lodify? Great question. So basic setup for the moment is covered by us. Um, so we, we work very closely with the client. I mean, it's really not that, that heavy of a list when I say very closely. There's a link to install the package, and there's a small amount of configuration that needs to be done. Um, things like setting up your carrier and source codes in the system. Um, uh, adding the component to the page. So it's very, very simple to do that. Um, and, and like I said, we assist the client in doing that. If the customer is interested in some uh, additional uh, configuration, if they have a very complicated process, if they have a number of automations that would be tied to, um, to, 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 the, to the implementation, then uh, that's something we can talk about separately in terms of cost. Or, or again, if they already have a uh, you know, a Salesforce admin, or if they have a, another partner that they're working with, whatever the case may be, we're, you know, we're happy to work with anybody to do that. Um, but the basic setup is is, in, is sort of included in the in the uh, in the cost of using Release Point. In terms of using the app itself, there's no there's no uh, cost to use the integration application. Um, and you can, I think, Paul can talk a little bit about the cost in general about uh, Release Point fulfilling the request, but. Uh, the integration um, is, is is tied into the cost of, of release point, so there's no additional cost for the app. Okay, great. Just the cost for the actual medical records themselves. Right. That's right. Perfect. Amazing. Well, nothing customers like to hear more than a, a major upgrade in their medical records ordering processes, also with coupled with a very very low cost. So that's that's exciting. Um, I think for the next steps for our customers that we have on the line. Um, what you would want to do is reach out to your customer evangelist um, who can um, take a look at your org and then also um, put you in contact and take the next steps in the integration process, um, which, as David just mentioned, um, depending on your configuration, could be very, very, very simple, which is really, really great. Um, David, um, Monica, Paul, thank you so much for joining. Is, are there any last thoughts that you want to uh, leave our users with who have joined us today? No. Uh, Does uh, like... Sorry, David, was that you going to mention something? Yeah, just real quick. I mean, the, the point the point for us is really to make this process easy for, for law firms. Um, so we're very, very interested in improving the product based on feedback. So uh, if there are things that we've missed that are part of your process just from the, the uh, demo today, um, I, I, I would love to hear from, from you. And then in addition, as you're using the application, if there are additional features that, that are missing, 
um, or tweaks in the way that you think it should work, uh, you know, we, we really want to hear from you guys because, again, the, the, the goal for us is to make this totally seamless for the firm. Right, and I'll just and I'll just add, if I may, that you know the release point team and the Rio team work pretty closely together. And if if there is any type of uh, you know additional functionality or, or requests, you know we we try to jump on that pretty quick. So we we have a pretty responsive team on our side to try to uh, tackle any issues or or, or uh, you know any any thoughts that that come up that may need to be addressed. We're 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 here and ready to listen to you. Amazing. Yep. Uh, the partnership between Brio and Release Point and the integration in Notify, keeping our users all in one place. It's a really beautiful thing. Um, well, um, I appreciate uh, you joining us today and walking us through um, what this product looks like, uh, what this product looks like, and the value it brings to our customers um, is really um, huge for us um, and for our customers. Um, um, amazing win overall, um, gentlemen um, and Monica. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate your time today. Um, no questions came through, but if you do have questions, please feel free to reach out to your customer evangelist who can answer any other questions that you might have, and then also taking the next steps into integrating um, release point and records express into your Litify org. Um, everyone, thank you so much. Have a great day, and we'll talk soon. Thanks. Have a good one.